talk about our guy. Portugal! Stand up! Nimi Keita gets his first NBA run. We've gotten a chance to call his games in Stockton, so we've seen the flashes of potential from him. Christy puts him in near the end of the first half. He comes Uh. in right away and blocks a shot. Looked like it was going to be two blocks. It wasn't because that second one came after the buzzer. Uh. But he comes in, blocks a shot right away. Love to see that defensive effort right away. And for him being the first Portuguese-born player to ever see NBA minutes, it's just a cool moment. Yep. You saw a lot of the Portugal fans out there tweeting about him making history, and it's 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 really cool. But he he deserved to see those minutes as well, especially on a shorthanded NBA roster that needed some guys to come out there. And I think some people get really excited about him. They're like, he he's ready, he's ready. But you and I also see his flaws too within the Stockton Kings. He's and young. He's that's he, it. He just needs more time. And Absolutely. I thought there's the, something there. The biggest thing I saw from it, he runs the floor hard. He's yes. flying everywhere. He moves really well. You know, Doug Christie was talking about him after the game, saying, I really, really like him because I think he is someone that's got the potential that you can run the offense threw him at the elbow yeah. and he got the ball a couple times at the elbow. He did have one nice assist tonight. He mm-hmm. also had five rebounds. He did not score, but played just under eight minutes. And it was just like, good for him. Like he's just been working good. hard. He's worked on his body. Mm-hmm. He's a great guy. And it was good to see him get some uh, run in an NBA game. Absolutely. More experience, more minutes. Uh, time will only tell with him, but it's nice to see that he could try and end up being like a modern day big. Well, let's uh, hear what he had to say uh, after his first NBA action. The second part of that question, just do you have anything you want to say to the folks back in Portugal? Because a lot of them were up all night. Yeah, I know, man. It's it's probably what time is it right now? It's pretty it's pretty late down there, so it's it's, it's special that they up just to watch me play. So I really I want to I really want to thank them for being up and just staying up, staying with me on my side every 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 opportunity I get. Super cool for uh, Nimi Keita. I mean, I mentioned we do his G League games. The fans in Portugal stay up. It's like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m. In the middle of the night, they're watching his NBA G League games. And they're like in the chat room on YouTube just firing oh. away. They're all fired up. It's just cool. It's, it's an awesome moment for that country. It's an awesome moment for him. And I thought he brought good energy to the floor. On NBC Sports, uh, you made your cameo, but before Deuce came on, I was talking about Nimi Keita making history, and I was like, Portugal, stand up, all excited. And then Deuce Deuce has his hit after, and he's like saying the same exact thing that I was saying. Portugal, stand up. It is cool. It's just like what Nimi Keita just said. It's cool that these people stay up till whenever... He is playing with the Stockton Kings or with the Sacramento Kings now, and they support him. And um, the other person that they supported all throughout those years in Sacramento was Tisha Penichero. So it's just, it's really cool to see that love here, especially in Sacramento. 